Hello everyone! Welcome to Bedtime Storytime. I'm Miss Lizzie, and we have Horton here with us today at the library, and we're going to read some books all about pajamas today. I thought that was appropriate. I have my little doggy pajamas on. I don't know if you can see all my little doggies, and I hope you're nice and cozy in your pajamas too for our books we have today. And we're going to do some fun songs as well. So are you ready? You want to jump right in? All right, do you know what song we always start with? That's right, the more we read together. Good job. All right, let's jump right into it. Ready? Oh, the more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Great job! All right, what do you say? We should, should we start reading our first book? Yeah, let's get right into it. The first book I have for us today is Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney. It's a good one. Are you ready? Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. Llama Llama Red Pajama waiting, waiting for his Mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. Hmm. Llama Llama Red Pajama whimpers softly for his Mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Hmm. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Oh, goodness. Llama, llama, red pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if mama llama's gone? Llama, llama, red pajama weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run! <gasps> Look at her. She's running. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama's very busy. Please stop all this Llama drama and be patient for your Mama. Little Llama, don't you know? Mama Llama loves you so. Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his Mama. Snuggles pillow soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. The end. 
That's a good one, huh? I like all the rhymes in it. I love rhyming in our book. All right, before we read another story, let's do some songs, okay? So the first one I have is called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. And I've done this before in some of my other bedtime story times, but it's okay if you don't remember or if you're new. So it repeats at the beginning, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. And whatever Teddy Bear says to do, so we might touch the ground, we might reach up high, feel free to do that and get up and jump up and down, whatever it says to do, okay? You ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your knees. Teddy bear, teddy bear, sit down, please. Good job. Should we try that one again? This time, let's really reach up high. Feel free to turn around when he says to turn around. Okay, ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Are you touching it? Can you feel it? Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your knees. Teddy bear, teddy bear, sit down, please. Good job. All right, now that we're sitting, should we get on our rocket ship? You want to go to the moon? All right, let's do zoom, 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 okay? Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Wow, you jumped so high, oh my goodness. Should we do it again? I think you can jump even higher even though you jumped so high. All right, ready? Let's try it again. Let's try to jump even higher. All right, let's warm up our rocket ships. All right, ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Oh my goodness, you jumped even higher that time. Wow! All right, I don't know about you, but I could use a nice calming song before we read our next book. Since we just jumped so high going to the moon, all right? All right, let's sing a nice calm one. How about Twinkle Twinkle, Little Star, because we're up near the stars. All right, ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Great job. All right, I'm feeling a lot more calm now. Are you? Yeah, me too. So how about we read another book, okay? Sounds good. All right, the next book I have for us today is called Lulu's Pajamas by Lucy Pepina. Hmm. My name is Lulu. This is Mama and Papa, the best Mama and Papa in the world. And this, of course, is Lily Poo, my one and only ladybug. When it is time to go to bed, I put on my favorite pajamas. They smell as good as a pink dream. They are as soft as a butterfly kiss. 
Then Mama tells us a story. Papa sings us a good night song. And I go to sleep in my soft as a butterfly kisses pajamas with Lily Poo, who never wears pajamas. One morning, I make a big decision. I will never take off my soft as a butterfly kiss pajamas. Never, ever. I say no, no, no when Mama brings me my clothes. I say no, no, no when Papa tells me to put them on. I kick my feet and I cry. Mama and Papa look at each other. They make a big decision too. Papa drives me to school wearing his pajamas. My friends laugh when they see us. I want to kick my feet and cry again. So does Lily Poo. Luckily, Miss Mimi rings her bell and puts a finger to her lips. Shh. In Miss Mimi's classroom, we have lots of fun. We finger paint. Oops, some paint gets on my pajama sleeves. We make caterpillars. Oops, some glue drops on my pajama buttons. We do the elfin fairy dance. Oops, my pajama seat is very dusty. When I go home for lunch, I eat spaghetti with red tomatoes, yellow cheese, brown mushrooms, and green zucchinis. Oops, all the colors end up on my pajamas and on Lily Poo. By the end of the afternoon, my pajamas don't even look like my favorite pajamas anymore. They have a tear at the knee. They don't smell like a pink dream. They are not as soft as a butterfly kiss. Lily Poo is sad. So am I. I make another big decision. I never wear my soft as butterfly kiss pajamas again. Never ever. All right, says Mama. Good idea, says Papa. We all take off our pajamas, except Lily Poo, who is not wearing any. When night falls, I go to bed wearing my orange ballerina dress. Mama tucks me in and then turns off the light. Mama, Mama, you forgot something. Hmm, I don't think so, answers Mama. What about our story and Papa's song? Mama winks at me. I only tell stories to little mice who wear pajamas, she says. And I only sing songs to little mice who wear pajamas, adds Papa. I frown. Then I look at Lily Poo. She knows everything. So I start thinking. Finally, I make one more big decision. I will only wear my favorite pajamas some of the time. After a long day at school, they don't smell like a pink dream anymore, and they are not as soft as a butterfly kiss. But my pajamas are perfect for listening to bedtime stories and goodnight songs, and for dreaming sweet dreams. Right, Lily Poo? The end. Did you like that one? I like when she realized that she loves her pajamas, but they're not as special when she wears them all the time. So they should be saved for special occasions like bedtime. All right, before we read our last book, I have another fun song for us, and this is our five in the bed song. So I brought our five little teddy bears to, with us in their big bed. Can you see how many teddy bears there are? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. And they're all different colors. Can you see what different colors they are? Can you tell me what color this one is? That's right. It's red. And how about this one? Orange. That's right. This one? Yellow. Good job. What about this one? Green. That's right. And the last one? That's right, it's blue. 
All right, so we have five little bears. So we're going to start singing with five bears in the bed. There were five in the bed, and the blue one said, Roll over, roll over. And they all rolled over, and one fell out. Ooh, two fell out on accident. Let's put him back. All right, one fell out. How many bears are left in the bed? That's right, only four. All right, how about the green one? There were four in the bed, and the green one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and he fell out. Oh no, how many are left now? That's right, just three in the bed. All right, there were three in the bed, and the yellow one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and he fell out. Oh no! How many are in the bed now? That's right, just two in the bed. Good job. All right, how about the orange one? There were two in the bed and the orange one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and he fell out. Oh, how many are left in the bed now? That's right, just one. And what color is he? That's right, he's red. Good job. All right, let's count one in the bed. There was one in the bed, and the red one said, Good night. <laughs> good job. That was good job counting using all those colors. All right, let's put everyone back in the bed. Here's the orange one, here's the yellow one, oh, and the green one fell all the way over here. Okay, here's the green one, put him back in the bed, and last but not least, the blue one, put her back in the bed too. And let's make sure they're all nice and cozy. All right, let's say good night, good night to our bears. All right. Let's read our last book. Are you ready? All right, the last book I have for us today is Piggies in Pajamas by Michelle Meadows. This is a really good rhyming book. Mama's in the kitchen, talking on the phone. Papa isn't home yet. Piggies are alone. Piggies in Pajamas jumping in the air, tossing up the pillows, popcorn in their hair. Oh goodness. Climbing up the mountain, lined up in a row, diving in the ocean, piggies holler, go! Thump, thump, oink, oink, all the piggies fall. Stomp, 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 mama's in the hall. Uh-oh. Hurry to the tunnel. Everybody hide. Underneath the covers, snuggle deep inside. Crick, creak goes the door. Is Mama really here? She's busy on the phone. I think the coast is clear. Piggies in pajamas scoot across the floor, going for a train ride, speeding past the door. Toot toot, oink oink, rolling down the track. Stomp, 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 <gasps> Mama's coming back. Uh-oh. <gasps> Hurry to the tunnel, everybody hide. Underneath the covers, snuggle deep inside. Crick, creak goes the door goes the floor. She's sitting down to chat. She's talking on the phone again. I think it's Mrs. Cat. Piggies in pajamas whirl around the room. Cartwheels and somersaults. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, oink, oink. Piggies love to play. 
stomp, stomp, stomp. <gasps> Mama's on the way. Hurry to the tunnel. Everybody hide. Underneath the covers, snuggled deep inside. Crick, creak goes the, f the door. Is Mama coming back? She's heading to the kitchen, looking for a snack. Piggies in pajamas, digging through the chest. Race cars, tambourines, a polka-dotted vest. Who's at the window? Piggies drop their toys. Scritch, scratch, tap, tap. <gasps> What's that noise? Uh-oh. Just a little tree branch that gives the pigs a scare. But they think it's a wolf, or a fox, or a bear. Piggies in pajamas, sneaking down the hall. Crawling with their blankets, baby drags a doll. Mama's in the bathroom, washing up her face. Piggies in pajamas find a cozy place. Tickle, tickle, oink, oink. They giggle for a while. Snuggle, snuggle, good night. Piggies in a pile. Mama sees their pink ears. Tails are sticking out. Mama climbs into bed and kisses every snout. Good night, piggies. The end. That one was a fun one. I liked all the rhymes in this one, too. All right, we've come to the end of our bedtime story time. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you had a good time, and we'll hope we'll see you soon. All right, you ready to sing our good night song? All right, let's go. Now it's time to say good night, say good night, say good night. Now it's time to say good night. I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye. Thank you for watching and sweet dreams. Goodbye.